And this is where the identities were born. We are trying to prove the tangent of theta. Times the cosine and squared theta is going to be 2 times the tangent theta cosine squared theta minus the tangent theta all over. 1 minus the tangent squared of theta, so then we write that more complicated right-hand side. And then we see that there's a common factor there, see? There's a tangent in both of those, and that glows, and I know you don't like that, but I like the glow. And it's all over. 1 minus... Ratio! Oh, don't go away. The tangent squared theta, which is the sine squared theta over the cosine squared theta, and now what are we going to do? We're going to go and we're going to add the fractions down there in the denominator, and you're like, why? And I'm like, wait and see why. So we go, and we add those two, getting the cosine squared over cosine squared times that one minus the sine squared over the cosine squared, then it's going to be all over the cosine squared because we'll achieve a common denomination. Now what? Well, there's a couple different ways we can go. We can use the reciprocal, or we can use the double angle. Double angle. Ha-ha! <laughs> double angle. All over the cosine squared theta. All right. Awesome. You caught that. You caught that. You caught that. Why? Because you're going to need to reduce. Two times the... You're multiplying by the reciprocal. And then that's two times the cosine squared theta minus one. You have bounced back quite nicely, sir. You did counter well, because now we have the right-hand side. I mean left.